For our third grade small group this week, students are going to be introduced to cross number puzzles. With a cross number puzzle, what students are doing is looking at the operation, these say to add, and students are going to add um, vertically, horizontally, and diagonally, and the answer should be the same that they get in this final box. So to start off, three plus six is nine, one plus five is six. Now I'm gonna go across, three plus one is four, six plus five is 11. Five plus three is eight, six plus one is seven. Now, this is how I check to see if I did this correctly. Eight plus seven is 15, nine plus six is 15, and four plus 11 is 15. And I would like for them to do a check mark if, when they go across, 15, 15, 15. I'll do a cut of the rest of the page um, so that there's a, a good understanding of how to do this. So two plus six is eight, five plus three is eight, three plus two is five, six plus five is 11, two plus five is seven, six plus three is nine, and then I'm gonna go through and make sure they all are the same. So eight plus eight is 16, nine plus seven is 16, and five plus 11 is 16. Of course, you'll go slow as you introduce these to students, and you might do work on these together until they're ready to go independently, and then they can really go at their own pace. All week long, they're going to just pick up where they left off and keep working through their cross-number puzzle packet. And feel free to spot check as you go if someone's making mistakes. They do get progressively quite a bit harder. So this is kind of, um, this is still a level one, but it's a few puzzles in. And you can see that it starts to become more of a logic thing of, well, what could I even answer here? So in this case, the only thing that I could really do so far is 8 plus something is 10. 8 plus 2 is 10. Well, now what could I do? I could do 2 plus something is 7. That would be 5. 2 plus something is 8. That would be 6. 5 plus 8 is 13. 6 plus 5 is 11, 8 plus 6 is 14. So now I've got all my numbers filled in. Let's see if my answers are correct. So 10 plus 11 is 21, 7 plus 14 is 21, and 13 plus 8 is 21. So I know I did that correctly. If students need a number line to, or a hundreds chart to help with the addition, that is no problem. So let's say that we start working on this one and a student does need that scaffold. Here's what you'll do. First, I have to decide, well, where am I going to start? I can solve 2 plus 3. If I don't know what that is, I would find the 2 and I'd either put a chip on it or I could mark it. And then I would count 2. Ready? 1, 2, 3. That's 5. 3 plus something is 12, okay, so 3, and I need to stop at 12, so 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here, 9 plus something is 15, so I would start on the 9, and I would scoop till I got to 15, so I'm at 9, so I would move 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six. So using a chip as kind of like a game piece like they would use on a board game is helpful for them to see those different spaces. Now I need six plus two, so I'm at six, and I'm going to go one, two, that's eight. Now I need to do six plus three, so I'm at six. One, two, three, I landed on nine. I'm at two, and I need to add nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's 11. And then here, 15 plus 5, I'm at 15. One, two, three, four, five, I'm at 20, and so on. And we're still going to do our check. 8 plus 12 is 20. 9 plus 11 is 20. That's what they'll be working on this week.